always good fun. What really happened in uh, working on Naked Gun, and this goes for me, for all three uh, pictures, uh, I literally got up early to get to work early. Mm to start laughing sooner. That's great. And that really went for all of us. And also the thing is that the general atmosphere in the company was one of such uh, goodwill and such generosity and such fun and gentleness and mm. uh, pleasure. Uh, it, it was one of the finest companies to work it's, with. It's interesting you should say that. That's one of the things I like about the films, that um, uh, an enormous uh, jokes per minute quotient, and all of them... Uh, uh, good-natured, all of them, uh, you know, uh, nothing, mean, yeah, nothing mean in the humor, it's just, you yeah. know, fun. There's another stupid gag and there's that, another that one. Is, you know, you, you, there are many gags that are really dumb mm. and all of that, but the thing is that there's nothing mean-spirited, there's nothing sadistic or cruel. Yeah, and I think we play humor. down the value of the dumb gag. I personally, I'm very big on the dumb gag. <laughs> me too, I yeah. love them. You know, dumb and stupid is fine by me. What's, <laughs> what was Priscilla Presley like to work with? Priscilla is, uh, I adore her. You know, she's, she's, she's threaded a very fine line. Isn't she? They, 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 you know, she was married to the king. It's and such a In a lot of ways, it's a, a weird role for her to take on, and yet she does it so well. I thought that her, her and it's just me and the audience looking, I, th I thought her timing in this film was perhaps the best of the lot. You're I, right. I, now, I, I you, thought she now, I'm really good. delighted you say that, because you're absolutely right. The, there's a kind of a freedom that doing this insane comedy generates. Mm. And that freedom gets you more in touch with yourself, mm. with who you are, in every aspect of your life, and certainly including your professional life. Mm. And I could see it happening with Priscilla. I could see her becoming, I could see her eyes are dancing, and yeah. I could see the mischief, and I could see her becoming freer and freer. And I'm so pleased you say that, because, mm. you know, when I get back, I'm going to tell her that we talked about this, because it, you had spotted that, too. Yeah, that I'd... she is, the, the comic thing that she has, the comedian in her that she has mm. is just bubbling to the surface. Well, that's obviously such a function of working with the same cast and working with the same crew because, yeah. of course, they're important. We don't see them in the movie theatre, but, of course, they're all around you as you're making it. And, yeah. and I'm sure that's a function of all of that, to have friends and uh, that family atmosphere on the on the. Very side. much. That's the key word, family. The feeling of family, the feeling of uh, security, mm. of comfort, and uh, that nobody is there to pick on you or point a finger. They're only there to have fun and yeah. help. Absolutely. And that's it. And that's what we have, yeah. Tell me about Jerry Zucker. What's what's he like as a person? Now, you mean Jerry or David? Uh, I was actually going to say Jerry and then David, but yeah. both. But, but Jerry, well, the, you know, I mean, uh, you've got the Zazz team, and Jerry and David and Jim Abrams mm. were the three guys who uh, did Airplane, and uh, they were the ones who rousted me out of being a closet comedian and uh, indecently exposed me forever, thank God. <laughs> but... Uh, you could not have come into comedy, especially when I approached it myself, so tentatively. You know, mm. I really didn't think I belonged as much as I had fun all the time behind the camera. Yeah. In front of the camera, that's a different thing. I thought, you know, I was like an imposter. But in their company, they had me figured out very fast, and from that point on, uh, they very gently kept on insisting that I come and play, and we did Police Squad, and then it came time to do Naked Gun, the first one. And It's incredible, too. Police Squad, what was that, six episodes? And yet it spun off to three enormously grossing movies. There's yeah. a great line in, about Naked Gun two and a half that says it grossed more than any other film with a fraction in it, for like beating Fellini's eight and a half by some yeah, million. Well, we're waiting to see what comes in from 33 and a third now. It's got to go very big. <laughs> and with Leslie Nielsen. Leslie, this must be a great time in your career with the success of all these movies. It's just, a, you know, it's a lucky, for me, it's the luckiest time in, uh, in the world for me because uh, as an actor at this stage in my career, at my age, to end up doing the thing that I love to do, this humor, mm. and to do it with these people under their auspices, that's a roll of the dice that you can't uh, really it's expect terrific. to have. Yeah. Now, this sort of great experience that we've talked about with Naked Gun, do you think this will, um, uh, will this spoil you now for other projects? Or mm -hmm. will Frank Drebin saddle up again? Or what? how do you see the next uh, Frank 12, Drebin, I think, is months? going to saddle up again. I don't see any possible way that he won't saddle up again. Um, so long as Tony Harding's and people like that are around, there has to be someone to make jokes around. Well, yeah, somebody. But, the, but it's just so dumb to start laughing. Yeah. You know, who, Why who, stop? who wants to make a judgment about when the time is up for anything? Mm. So I think there will be another naked gun coming down the pike, but it does make inroads into my work because I'm, or have been, <laughs> a serious actor <laughs> about many things. Yeah, and yeah. Um, people have a tendency now to think about me in terms of if I'm being straight or being serious. You know, 
what is the punchline? Something's coming. Yeah, there's a tag. Something's yeah. there, there. There is a tag. So, um, is that a disappointment? Is there work that you'd like to go on and do now that you're kind of held back from, or are you just enjoying this this stage? You know, I really don't attach any enormous significance to what I do in my work. <laughs> I just have fun, and if it's going to end up being with comedy throughout the the rest of my life, that's fine by mm. me. But I do enjoy the, uh, doing. I'm a pro. You know, I'm a, pro a professional actor, and yeah. like, if I was a plumber, I don't just do my plumbing in Beverly Hills bathrooms. I, I do commercial jobs and all things, and mm. I work all around. And I'm ready to do uh, regular drama, but uh, if uh, it's excluded because of uh, the audience reaction, then that's the way it comes down. Have you got a, a, a wish list? If you could press a magic button and they said, right, I'll say this is your role, or this I've got is a your creation? Of, I got a couple. What of sort things. of what sort of stuff would you love? Well, to I do the one man play based on the life of Clarence Darrow. Mm -hmm. I would like to do uh, Willie Loman mm -hmm. in Death of a Death Salesman. Of a salesman. Gee, of a... both enormous roles you want to take on. These well, are, these but are big... you know, um, I love the vulnerabil uh, vulnerability of Willie Loman. Yeah. And I would love to do that, but um, uh, if it doesn't work out, that's the way it goes. Then. And th th these are both theatre roles, too. What attracts you to the theatre? What do you like well, about Well, because that? I think that that's a place where I'll get a chance to do my serious work. What about, uh, what about when you get time to kick back? What do you like to do? I just take it easy. I hang out with friends, um, play a little golf, uh, laugh, have fun. I um, I don't have any kind of. Just I'm hating this, you know. I'm just. I'm <laughs> this is really irritating me. I'm talking to someone and I'm saying, Leslie, how about your career? Yeah, it's going really well. What's it like? The best fun. What are the people like to do with? Great. Is it giving you a lot of work? Everything I could want. And what do you do to relax? I just have fun. I'm hating this life. I'm really depressed, and I want to swap. Could you like get up early, do what I do? Uh, I mean, you're having a good time. Come yeah, on, I mean, you're absolutely. really. But in talking with you, you're really expert at what you do too. It's a pleasure. But the, thanks, though. But I, you know, I went through a. a Cathartic experience uh, myself. That same uh, that same philosophy that uh, uh, I made a promise when I burnt all my suits and uh, and files that I'd never work at something I didn't enjoy ever again because life's too short and you get you get much better quality out of doing the things that you enjoy to do. You know the, the product's better, you're happier, your life's better. Everything flows that way. I agree with you. But my my uh, line is uh, I don't go anywhere to have a bad time. Mm. Thanks very much for taking the time to chat to us. You mean we're done? Yeah, thanks. You mean so. I have to write my mother? I'm over you in a big uh, way, Leslie. I can't tell you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>